Hello and welcome to Mulheim an der Ruhr. And in this street, Kölner Straße, there are more RV dealerships than anywhere else I know of. Certainly, I suspect in Europe this is the record. I bet it could well be in the world as well. But if somebody knows better from the US, or, or anywhere else for that matter, uh, do write down the uh, comment in the comment section below. This vehicle here, it is the Burstner Elysio. It's on a Fiat Ducato, brought out for 2021. This is the first time that I have seen it. So Fiat Ducato 599 in length, it's 265 in height and uh, 200 and five in width there's some of the details i don't know how, how visible that is because it's pretty uh it's pretty bright the sun so i anyway, i'm trying to start at the door but maybe no maybe that makes it worse no it doesn't okay right there's your cost sixty two thousand five hundred and eighty and the kickoff price is forty two thousand two hundred and they are the extras that's what's the most expensive and uh Ah, well, it's gonna be, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the tent in the roof. That's only 5,000 that's gonna cost. It's also got an automatic uh, gearbox. That's 3,400. And you can have a look at all the other things uh, later. I won't go through them all. Now, tents in the roof are pretty expensive. And you, actually, for base price, to buy the thing you, pr without fitting, you're looking at around 4,000 as a general rule. Of course, uh, quality varies, I'm sure, between one tent in the roof and another. And uh, let's have a look at this one up here. Yeah, and so if anybody knows about tents and roofs, then you might want to uh, make a comment. Uh, now, uh, Carmen Mobile, which is not part of the Heimer Group, it was to Trigano, but they brought out in their Davis, uh, I think DA590, if I remember rightly, uh, something which they call the View. And that's the view, so you call this one a view as well. You see, the view is that they've got a, a window in the tent in the roof, and you can sort of see out of it. Um, anyway, uh, so this one's got one of a view as well. I think I think they've all got a view, to be quite honest. Okay, as a uh, looking here, we have the kitchen is sort of standard. I mean, it's the same sort of Dometic stuff you'll see in anything. Um, You've got this uh, insect screen here, mosquito net. There you go, two burners. I'm just kind of a bit concerned how, 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 how dark this is coming out. And the sink's down there. It says, eat here. And there's your, there's your uh, sink. Right. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between this and the Campeo? And uh dunno. <laughs> uh, uh right, uh twelve volt plug there. This thing here is part of the uh wet room. And to do a wet room in a 599 centimeter van is as I've said many times in the past, not all that easy. I'm gonna come in and show you how much room there is. There's, there's me standing up. I'm gonna close the door behind me. Oh, you can see what's going on now, although it's a bit there. Uh, where's the light? There's one, and there's the other. Okay, you can see better now. Um, nice corner sink. On the other hand though, and there's, a, there's the light. Not plugged in, okay, fair enough. Um, only one drain hole, and it's um, it's, a, it's a small one at that. There's, there's quite a lot of space though, I'd have to say. There you go, look, I should close on the door. Go to the toilet, and widthwise uh, at the back. Yeah, sorry about this, it's really dark, isn't it? So it's a shiny, glossy surface on this, and there you can see into the rather deep 
rather deep uh, you know sitting well I'm arm in you can see how deep it is yeah that's the comparison so got more storage space up there at the back also somewhat deeper than you'd normally expect with a van usbs up there shore power there and uh, two usbs 2.1 it's one 2.1 and light switch which obviously it's not it's not uh, it's not connected so uh, and these ones here are quite good so uh oh it's rather interesting looking light there So uh, I uh, I like the depth of the of the uh, storage up here. Now let's have a look under the bed. Got these uh, slats here. The bed will come up. Uh, it'll come up in. This will move over to one side. And this this will lift up. I'm just sort of trying to demonstrate here. Yeah, yeah. So I said it comes up. Won't pull the whole thing up. I've only got one hand to do it with. But that'll come. You can stick a bike or something down there should you want. Now I've got an enormous fridge here, which might be going over the top of it in such a small uh, van. Oh, and it's full of stuff. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm glad I came here. And you got some uh, little drawer at the bottom, and another one of these rather deep drawers here. Right, okay, this is relatively standard. Let's now have a look around the outside. Okay, you've got a little bit of storage down here in what uh, Car uh, in, uh, Cartago is called the double floor but it isn't the double floor and we'll show you this as well so it's convenient access to the fuses and here oh, deep jaws three of them So now we're going to have a walk around the outside. It's great to have the sun like this, of course. I'm not going to complain, but it makes it a little bit difficult for filming. So I'm always complaining about something like the hoovers going off in the exhibition halls. Um, people trying to get rid of me, chasing me out. Oh, here I'm complaining about the sun, where I'm sort of welcome, and there's no hoovers going off. <laughs> okay, gives you an idea of how much room at the back. You've got lashing uh, uh, straps uh, here. Uh, in here we've got the gas cupboard, uh, currently being used for other things, and you can get two large um, canisters in there. And in here we have yeah, more storage. For 2020, of all the 2021 range, Heimer Group said that it was going to concentrate on digital advertising and uh, rather than going to trade fairs, so it's, it's cancelled all of its trade fairs for, uh, for 2020. Uh, whether or not one would look at buying a van like this for online is something else. I mean, it's all really well to look at sort of videos such as mine, which uh, hopefully do give you a reasonable uh, interpretation of what the van is, but it's something totally different when uh, you're going to actually go out and buy it. 
I think you really need to come to a place like this or anywhere else or the other dealers you want to try it out but the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're happy with it and that's to rent it uh, and uh, that's really the number one thing to do first I think find out you like it 62,000 is a fair whack of cash if you don't if, if you're not gonna like uh, band life thanks very much for watching lots more videos on my site all the best from Mulheim, Germany.